Hi, this is Lonnie here with Bob Block from N Computing. Bob, tell us about the cool stuff you brought to show us today. Sure, N Computing has designed their own terminal server from the ground up, and what we do is create multiple users from one PC. How it works is the terminal server software is loaded in to a host computer, follow the step-by-step -step directions on how to configure your system, and then you would move over and you would connect your display, your keyboard, your mouse, and connect this to a switch. And the connections are right back to the box and to the host computer. So regular PS2 or USB keyboards and a regular VGA display. That's correct, absolutely. And then what happens, we just turn it on and right now this station will now search for the host computer. Now you can have multiple host PCs to log on to. So someone might say, hey, if you have one PC that's down, I'm all down. No, we have multiple ones where you can statically or dynamically sign an IP address. If you come over here and look at this screen here, if I go to my setup, this is our own GUI where we have our own dynamic or static IP address. So I can have multiple host PCs to log on to. And also I can adjust the resolutions to whatever resolution I want, whether it's 800 by 600, 1280 by 1024. And how it all works is now it's found the host computer, which is the NCT Mobile. And we go ahead and click Connect. And it's a matter of seconds to uh, come up to your boot screen, which now it's the Windows login. So this is just like the, it's all the users on that Windows PC? That's correct. And they all work independent of each other. How we have another desktop. So I load my software here. So if this one has the internet, they all get the internet. And they all work independent of each other. Now this works with Windows XP. What about Vista? Is that coming soon? If Vista will be available in probably three to six months. I understand there's still some issues on Vista. Uh, so we will support Vistas in the coming months. Okay, and then what do you have over here? Okay, this is another version of this terminal here, which is, uh, doesn't have a, a USB port. Some people want to be able to take information out. This is a secure device, and a lot of companies want to keep the device secure, and they don't want important information on the hard drives of, of individual users. But in case someone wanted to take information out, then we have another version called our L200, which essentially has a USB port where a flash drive can be uh, installed here and then removed and taken out. And this one connects the same way. So right now it's our, our GUI uh, boot screen. And we connect, hit connect. Let's go, 16 volts. And it will show up with our login screen again. So the USB port shows up as a local device to only this user or to all users on the system? Only this user. Now if you want to make it a shared device, you can make it a shared device too. Well, that's very cool. And you said there's something else over there you could tell us a little bit about. Yeah, this, I mean, the, the key product is, is uh, server-based computing. And this is really great for the SMB market. However, for education and VSP, very small business mm -hmm. where people are in a, in a close proximity. This one runs through a switch, but the other one, you have to be within 30 feet of a host PC. What happens is this PCI card gets installed into the PC, and then we connect via Cat5 cable, and the Cat5 cable will connect to this box here. And the same thing, you plug in your, your display, your keyboard, mouse, and speakers, and pow, you have another desktop. Now the beauty of this is you, you've got to be within 30 feet of a host computer, so you can't go too far. So for classrooms and very small business, it's ideal, but the cost is 219 divided by 3 is $73 per user. Can't get much better than that, Lonnie. Not at all. This is very cool stuff. How many different terminals can you get working off of a single P at one time? Perfect. Okay. For this device, the X300, you can do two cards per host PC, so six additional users here. If you're using a, an XP machine, you can probably do about 10, up to 10 additional terminals for the L100 or the L200. The, uh, under a server environment, you can connect up to 30, and it also works under Linux as well, which Linux automatically will support up to 30 users. Wow. Now, if this guy gets a blue screen of death, are they all dead? No, because what happens is now you can log on to another host PC. So if one goes down, they can log on to another terminal. So you really eliminate any downtime. Well, Bob, thanks so much for sharing all this information with us today. I think you've given us a lot of understanding on the end computing products. Thank you, Lonnie. Appreciate you. your time. Take care.